Hi everyone, this is Michelle Testimony. I wanted to just show you guys um, what I got from the food pantry this morning. And these are um, refrigerator goods and some dry goods. And uh, the point of making this video is, you know, to just encourage, you know, somebody that needs help. I'm talking about that really needs help. Don't be afraid to ask, especially you got kids and stuff like that. You know, call your local 211. I know I said it, uh, you know, many, many a times, but you still got some sis and brothers that don't know what 211 is. You know, I know it's three numbers, but them three numbers, you know, might help you in the time of need. So let's get started. Okay, what I got from uh, the food pantry, which is, thank God, it's just walking distance. And, um, okay. Now I like these apples. Actually, I got three bags of apples like this. Three bags. I think I got four. And, um, also, I got a carton of eggs. What that goose? Yeah, frozen eggs. This, this is the name of it, you guys. That's a blessing. And which is, I got two things of it. And I got a um, cabbage here. Cabbage that's always shredded, shredded up, cut up. And what it got in here too is carrots and also um, I think that's red onions you guys carrots and uh, red onions and what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna make uh, some bacon not bacon well I'm gonna put bacon in here and put it in my crock pot and it turns out good it is so good cabbage and bacon you guys if you never had that, you should try it. Yes, try it. <sighs> and then you have a gallon of milk. Look at the expiration date. On the 29th. Ain't this good? 2%. 2% milk. For you mothers just have toddlers and babies, this would be good. I wish you was close by so I can give it to y'all. Because to be honest with you, I already got a lot of milk in the refrigerator right now. And I got a big bag of greens. Now these was, now this looked like it was from a farm or something like that. And um, looked like they selling it from, selling it like this. And this is a pound of greens. Well, probably three pounds or four pounds, whatever. So what you do with these, now some of these folks don't know nothing about that. You snap these greens, snap them in half, um, especially the edges. I'm not going to do it right now, but snap snap this, put this in trash. Snap this too, and put this in trash. And um, it all depends on how long you want the beans. I usually break them in half. But um, what I do is I put potatoes in here. And I, fr and I put it in bacon and just let it cook. Oh, my God. It turns out so good. I'm going to have to do a, a video on that. Not me snapping the greens. Probably, probably why it's cooking and stuff like that. Because I don't have all the technology. and I don't, Plus, I don't know how to do the pausing and stuff like that. Everybody else does. Okay, I got another thing of apples. These are green apples. I put those in my oatmeal. Rice. You can't never have too much rice. No man, you can't never have too much rice. This is the, yeah, this is brown rice. So I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with the brown rice because I don't ever buy or cook with brown rice. And this is and this is chili. I already made chili for no I think it's no beans. 
Yeah, already made chili. Got raisins. Put that in your oatmeal. And this is dry fruit with nuts. I'm pretty sure this would be good. Now, I need all this food. These, all this, just for all this food is good for you. You know, it gives you a lot of fiber and stuff like that. And I need fiber because one thing is I'm forced to take the iron pills every day. And, you know, some of you guys know iron pills can stop you up. But um, since I eat a lot of fiber and try to, you know, put a lot of fiber in my diet, I don't have, I don't have that problem. So, you know, you guys, God know what you need. I thank God for all of this. You know, and the only bad thing about it is I have a little refrigerator and I got to give some of this stuff away. Oh, it hurts my heart. Hold on. I got to show you guys this, too. <laughs> Oh, man. A loaf of wheat bread. Yes, ain't God good? A loaf of wheat bread. Now, mothers and fathers, too. You know, you always gonna have to have some bread in the household. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. All right. Well, this is it. I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys, especially the ones that's um, struggling, don't be afraid to go get some help. Don't be afraid. Now, I only have one child, and I'm staying in the motel, so really my space is very limited. That's my situation there. Now, I'm still working on getting an apartment. I'm working on it, but, you know, as you know, at this time, at this time, it's, um, everything is closed down and stuff like that, so it is, like, super hard to just, to even to find an apartment right now, plus I'm working on my credit, I'm trying to get some stuff off of my credit, so that's where I'm at. All right, happy Tuesday, everyone. Have a blessed day.